Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to Quinn Canyon. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here's my link, right there is my QR code. You could scan it with your phone and it will take you straight to my free mobile app. You'll receive homes directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, before we get into this one, again, this is a brand new home. So if you are thinking about buying new, considering buying new, or want to buy a new home out here, call me right now. Call me before you call the builder, before you speak with the associates, email them, or come and take a look at them in person. You can see the models. Because if you do, you're gonna work directly with the builder, their sales associates, and their sales associates actually don't represent you. They represent the builder. All they're there to do is facilitate the transaction. And if you want representation, you need to call me first so I can call on your behalf. Again, fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does, the seller does. So again, all my info is down in the description below. So today, I'm gonna to be putting up a map really quickly where we are. We are in Las Vegas, just west of the 15. I'm gonna just pan really quickly so you can see. If you know where South Point is, it's a little south of the Strip and it is right there. That's the 15. So we are on the west side. Right there is actually the Las Vegas Strip. So not too far from it. Just a short little drive. Again, let me know if you are liking that map so you can see where we are. This one is the Pinon. This is a three story, four to five bedroom, two to three bath, two car garage home. It is 2,690 square feet. Now the base price on this home is $557,500. Now when we go through this, just note that the model probably has at least 100,000, probably closer to like 150, $160,000 worth of options and upgrades. So keep those things in mind. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, I am back to posting every single day. So consider subscribing if you want to stay up to date. Coming on in. This is nice. So again, lots of options, lots of upgrades. The flooring is 100% an option. The railing is an option. But before we go up, let's go ahead and check out downstairs. Again, if you have any questions about anything I'm saying, give me a call. All my info is down in the description and the pinned comment. Hmm, this is neat. I like the colors and everything they chose. Right here we have our coat closet and it does go quite a bit back behind underneath the stairs. Right here we have our laundry room and what would be our two car garage. Again, they always keep them locked in the new construction because they use them for storage. Now, we have our washer, we have our dryer. Just note, when you buy new construction, all they're gonna give you is a shelf. You're not gonna get the uppers or the lowers, the folding area, unless you option for that. That is an upgrade that you can choose. Right there, that is our smart panel. You put your uh, router and modem in there, and then it throws the Wi-Fi throughout the home. Coming on in. Again, I believe that this is the optional bedroom. I know in their other models that they have, unfortunately the sales associate isn't here. They're out showing a property, so I couldn't ask them the questions, but I've been in enough of these homes. Usually this is the optional bedroom and you get a big, huge, huge, I guess downstairs bonus room normally. Before we'll check out out back too. Usually they keep them locked ever since the pandemic, but I really like this flooring. We have a bunch of extra lighting in here and this room is really, really big. I'm gonna spin around so you can see. They even have this little, a uh, little mini bar, dry bar area. They put the wine fridge in. And I know this just from past. In other communities, this wasn't even an option. Like you could put this, but you couldn't get the fridge. I don't know. Unfortunately, I couldn't ask those questions. Let me spin around just so you can see this. I love these rooms down here. I've even seen people turn these into kind of a next gen. There's just no sink. But what they do is they either have the parents or even if they have kids who want a little extra space, they come in through the garage. Or again, you could even potentially come in through here if you add the lock. Now, while we're here, when you're buying new, you need to budget for the backyard. These homes and these backyards are relatively small, but still figure somewhere between eight to $15,000. This, you could actually fit a pool back here. So if you add a pool, spa, heater, all that, it gets very expensive very fast. This size wouldn't be too bad, but an average pool spot heater out here is probably 50, 60 grand. 
complete backyard on a larger lot. They're going north of 80 right now. I've just seen so many of them. I've had buyers putting in, you know, the larger backyards and it gets very close, if not over 100K. Coming on in to the bedroom. So this room is quite large. We have nightstand, nightstand. Those could be desks, they're big. King size bed. I know in the other communities you could actually option for a sliding, excuse me, <laughs> got a hiccup. A sliding door there as well. I love how they furnish this. We have our huge dresser, little chair. And then just so you can see over here again with the synthetic grass. Let me spin around really quickly. This bed is huge. It looks like a cow king. And then we have our bathroom. Very, very nicely done. I love the furniture in here. I know a lot of people always ask, where do they get it? Unfortunately, most of the builders don't tell us. They just say, oh, it's with our, our team. They go out and buy it. And a lot of times they'll buy from multiple different stores. So coming on in, these look like slightly upgraded cabinets. Let's see if they're just the bumper, but with the hardware, usually you don't get the hardware. We have really nice, again, this is a slight upgrade in the countertop. Uh, I don't know if that's upgraded as far as the sink. We have these awesome, but be careful <laughs> faucets. I had a client once tell me their kid went like this. And unfortunately I made a mess, but I like these. They're very like, they're not modern, but they kind of are. I do like them a lot. I see them in more and more builders. We have our medicine cabinet. Again, I always joke about it because some of the builders are getting away from them. Let me know, do you like the medicine cabinet? I know they're saying it looks sleeker. I agree with them on it, but I like the fact that you're able to hide things. I don't know, leave a comment down below. Right here we have our toilet area. And at least it's far enough aback when you open the door, you're not gonna get trapped in there. I know sometimes these water closets get so tiny. They did a shower only and a very nice shower only. This looks like upgraded stone. It is looks like quartz, if I had to guess. We have our shower head, we have our valve. If you want, they can even add a little uh, soap shelf on it in the corner. And we have our bench. I wish they had the option for the niche, but at least you can get the shelf. Right here we have our closet. And, oh, I was not expecting it this big. So single bar and shelf all the way around, but it is quite large. It's basically its own apartment down here. Minus it doesn't have any like kitchen sink or anything like that. Nothing with the garbage disposal. I guess what you could do is add like a hot plate or Instapot, but pretty nice so far. Let's go ahead, head all the way up and then work our way back down into that kitchen and living. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Again, all my contact info is in the description and the pinned comment, and I'll even put it up on the screen. So before we see all this, and ooh, it's pretty, <laughs> let's go ahead, head all the way upstairs. Now again, you're normally only gonna have a uh, pony wall right here. Let's see the views. It is pretty, you have all the mountains over there. Again, it's gonna depend on what lot you pick and who is your neighbor, what they pick as well. They do have some homes available in here um, that are already built. Neat little area right here. I guess you could do a reading area. The desk is nice. Oh, this is interesting. It's just a single bedroom. So I believe this is the true master up here. Hmm, I think so. I almost wish you could pull this all the way out to the railing and then have even a bigger bedroom. I don't know, unfortunately they don't allow you to do those, but what do you think? So king size bed, love that bench. We have little nightstands. Now one option they did do is they did the can lighting in here. That is an option, it does not come standard. You'll just get a pre-wired cap for a ceiling fan and or light, but big room. Please spin around. Nice dresser and there's probably I'm gonna say six feet right here. Maybe even a little bit more. Coming on into our bathroom. Same exact cabinets, same exact countertops. Again, that's slightly upgraded on both, but looks good. Big mirror. Whoa. <laughs> Again, the closets are nice size in this one. So I know a lot of people, what they do is you can actually go through the builder and uh, do the closet. It's really expensive when you go through them, uh, you know, with all of 
cabinets, cubbies, and all the accoutrements that go with it. A lot of people end up going like California Closet, Closets Las Vegas, the container store. Right here we have our toilet. <laughs> now the reason I'm going like that is because this is gonna open in. And you're gonna have to like get over there. I wish this door would open out, but little tiny things that I'm kind of nitpicking. Again, it's just those little things that I wish builders would always have the water closet door come out. We have our shower. And what's funny is that shower downstairs was bigger than this one. That one was huge. So again, you can have the little shelf if you want. This one has the optional second one with the wand. I believe it's like a 12 to $1,800 option. Normally it'll just be the shower head and you can add the second one. You could have dual valves, one for each one. But all in all, nice bathroom. The closet's really big in this one. The shower was a bit bigger in the other one. That other bedroom was huge too. Coming on down. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out the channel with the YouTube algorithm. Coming on into the main living area. So this is what you'll get right here, the pony wall, if you don't option up for the railing. This is nice. So we have their balcony. That is a fake fireplace. It's a picture, it's a holographic image. I believe this one does throw out heat if you turn it on, but this is about like a four or $5,000 option. If that was real gas, <laughs> <laughs> that would be like a $20,000 option. It's very expensive for them to do that. But I like how we have our living space and then it feels just very natural with our kitchen and dining. Before we get into all of that, right here we have what could be a den, what could be formal dining if you choose to do that. I like the office space here. What would you do with this space? Is this what you would do? I feel like this is exactly what I would do, but I feel like maybe French doors in later on. I don't think they have that as an option. I haven't seen it ever before. Coming on in, let's work all the way down and back. Um, yeah. Right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a little dry. It's really windy today. Uh, is this? Yes. First bedroom on this level. I'm going to be honest, it's pretty small. <laughs> You could fit a full-size bed and the nightstand. If you're gonna put a desk, it's gonna have to be small. Um, if you saw my other video of the other one, that these bedrooms are basically the same size, but they are on the smaller side. Again, you can option for can lighting. You'll get the center cap for the uh, fan and or light. On this size bedroom, I don't think you would probably need the can lighting. If you want it, it is a nice feature to have, but the room is definitely on more of the standard builder size. And we have our two door closet slider. Again, if you need more space, move that one up and add a second one. I'm guessing this room, maybe 11 by 11. It's not 12 by 12, I don't think it's 10 by 10. I'm guessing 11 by 11. Right here, before we get into that bedroom, we have our five shelf linen closet. It's not very deep because they have the closets right here. We spin around, we get into exactly the mirror image of that last room. And this is perfect to show you how big the room is. It is a full size bed. You have nightstand, nightstand. Again, like I was saying, you could shift it over and get a smaller desk. But the problem with these is where do you put the dresser? I guess you almost have to shift it over and put the dresser right here or dresser like right here. You couldn't get two nightstands and then also a dresser. You got a nice big window. There's that pre-wire cap that you'll get right there and then same exact closet. So I'm glad they have a bed in one of them. So at least you can see the size of the rooms. If we spin around, we get to our bathroom. And I love the fact that when the door opens, it actually hides the toilet. Um, I'll be honest though, I feel like it needs more light. Like you can see it's very dim right there. But other than that, I do like this bathroom a lot. We have our vanities, we have same cabinets as before. This is more of what the actual cap or uh, countertop will look. It's not the quartz, it's actually compressed material. We have our big mirror, I do like that. And then <laughs> I always joke, oh, we got lucky on this one. We have a little bit of a peekaboo window, Vegas window, but 
most people are gonna want to put some sort of window treatments on these, otherwise it's, it's gonna be a free show. Right here we have our standard tub shower combo. So it's a fiberglass composite tub, fiberglass composite uh, shroud. So it's not actually tile. One of the nice things about this is it's easier to clean. There's no grout, but the stone ones where they do, they are nice because there's not a ton of grout lines. We have our shower head. We have one, two, three, four little soap shelves. You have your valve and your tub filler. And this is actually a pretty decent depth tub. You can kind of see it's a little dim right there. Coming on in back into the kitchen. So coming out of these bedrooms, this is what it'll look like. Again, upgraded countertops, lots of upgrades. The packages as far as the sinks and um, appliances though, I believe that's the standard. At least that's what it was before. Four bench tools for the overhang. We come around here. I like how much room is here. I just showed, I just filmed the other one and it felt a little tight here. Now, if you want, you could option up and put even more cabinets under there. I've seen people put wine fridges under there as well. So the other thing you could do is you could put chairs under there as well, because this could be your dining table with how big it is. There's a lot of counter space. I've seen a couple different ways people do it. We have our dishwasher. We do have a phone jack right here. Here is our standard kitchen sink. It's going to be double basin. I know I just filmed that one, it was funny. That's the bathroom in that one. <laughs> and so it's definitely a Vegas window. And tons of outlets. Again, normally what you're gonna do is whatever countertop you pick, you're gonna get about four inches. If you wanna add a backsplash, they'll pull that off and put the backsplash up. But I do like these cabinets. They have just a hint of blue to them, it looks like. They're not navy, but they are neat. We have our oven our five burner cooktop, our microwave. I always like to check. It does look like it. Yep, it vents outside. And then we have our fridge. You know what? Hold on. I'm just noticing there is no pantry in here. So, what's the, oh, you know what? Did I pass it? One second. Let's come on back. So we do have a pantry and it's actually really deep because that linen closet wasn't. So. It's a, let's call it a standard width pantry, but it is deep. So you do have a pantry, you just missed it on the way out. But all in all, very nice home. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, all my info is down in the description and the pinned comment, and I would love to help you out in any way possible. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out the channel with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe. I am posting every single day again. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.